Hello everyone, welcome to BK Engineering in free PTC Creo training. Today let's learn how to make stapler base. If you'll open this Google Drive link, we can follow the steps to make a stapler pin base. Okay, so let's go to Creo, new. So we are making this part in the sheet metal. Okay, so part sheet metal and name it as stapler. Remove the default template. Okay, take as MMNS part sheet metal. Okay, now you can select any part. I am selecting, sorry, now you can select any of the plane. I am selecting top plane. Go to planar and sketch out. This is the sketch we need. So we are making this sketch. We, we can make the upper upper part and we can mirror it with the horizontal line as well so take a line you will give the dimensions so from this end to this point i know it's 90 okay and from this point to this end point it's 5 this length is 30 this height is 10 this length is 17 This is 10. I guess this height is 7. Sorry. This is 7. Enter. Now we need a curve. So go to 3 point curve. Select this point and this end point. Okay. So we got it. Now this sketch we can mirror it with respect to horizontal line. So select all this sketch, go to mirror and select horizontal line. Good, we got it. So this is a sketch we need. Okay. And we can give thickness as 1 mm. Okay. So we made the base. Now we'll make a flange. Flange. Next step is to make a flange. So select the edge point, okay, go to flange, so we are getting default eye flange, we just need to add the distance, I need this length as 16 and thickness inside thickness would be 1 and the angle will be 90, okay, similarly to the other side as well. Select to the edge Go to flange Change the dimensions 16 Thickness will be 1 Bend dimensions will be 1 and the angle will be 90 okay so we got the flange both the side next step is to make this step okay so select the front plane and go to extrude cut okay now make a sketch so follow the sketch Now give the dimensions as well. So the dimension over from here to here is 10. 
from this line to this line it's 20 okay this height is 3 okay and from this line to the horizontal line it's 30 okay and go to three point curve and make an arc this arc is 1 mm go to tangent select this arc and this line this arc and this line as well ok similarly once more we can create an arc over here the radius of this arc is 3.5 ok now go to tangency select this line in this curve similarly this curve and this line ok now you can delete the one segment I don't need these two segment and this oh, close that this point and this part this as well I don't need ok now next is this distance you can give it as 4 now go to 3 point per select this end point this end point and the center point will be in center line ok and one more thing go to equal select this line and this horizontal line vertical line sorry ok so this is the closed surface we need this is the sketch we need ok now go to symmetry like this we are getting but we don't need this part we need the other side so just switch the direction so we need this time ok so we got the body of the rectangle base now we need a hinge for that select this edge and go to flat because we need a flat hinge ok bend position we can select this as a bend position ok placement it's correct but the problem over here is I need a customize lens so go to sketch user define and sketch out your desired shape i need a shape of this okay so we are going to create this shape so height is 3 and one more thing the distance between this point and the center point will be we can remove the constraint inside delete we can put 4.5 enter similarly for this as well select this and center line remove inside delete 4.5 enter ok so go to delete segment I don't need this line ok now go to line and make an implant line and give the dimension angle as 160 enter similarly to the right, right side as well select this line here and give the angle as 160 enter now I need an arc so go to center point arc select central line as a center point and give an arc ok this arc radius is 8 and the distance between this is 0.5 enter so the sketch is done we don't need this segment so go to trim and till select these segments ok now it's done ok So this is the hinge 
but I need this hinge to be bent somewhere. So what should we do? Select this point as a surface and go to bend. Okay, then go to bend line and sketch out. Okay, so this is the you can switch off the data surface. Okay. Yes. Now go this, select this point and this point. Yes. In this point I need to bend. So now you can give the angle. I need angle as 15. Enter. So this body is changing. But I need I need this point to change. Okay. Now you can change the direction. So this is the direction I need 15 degree inside. Okay. So this is the step. So we got the base part. Next step is to make a punch form over here. But that will take in the next session because we need a customized punch tool. Okay. So we don't have a customized punch tool. I'll make a separate video on that and teach you how to make a custom uh, customize punch form and how to do punch forming as well. Thank you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. If you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering, please click the link in the description.